Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Base Dad. I'm your host, Jeff Moreland. I hope you had a great week. I know I did. My week was busy, man. We we're running around trying to get some stuff done. I'm wanting to start doing some fabrication and design work. So I'm trying to source a CNC and find a 3D printer and a few other things. So it's, it's exciting because I want to get into this stuff, but I also want to make sure I make the right decisions and do something that's entertaining for you guys because, of course, I'm recording it. I just want to drop that little bit of knowledge so you know what to be looking for in the future. Man, we are looking again today at the SMD 5K. We looked at it last week. You saw me do my normal dyno testing. We hooked it up to subwoofer and checked it out that way. Unfortunately, that subwoofer couldn't handle the power of the 5k so i've put together another subwoofer box combo that i think might be able to handle it a little bit better it's the massive audio hippo r it's supposed to take a few more watts i appreciate that thanks rego at massive audio for getting that for us i'm going to play it on there as well as do three low ohm tests just to see how this amplifier performs those are going to be really interesting you won't see me again in this video like this this will be the last time of course you will see the low ohm test and then we're going to do some more subwoofer testing in my timeline i've already done that so when you see that that'll be kind of the past for me i'll see you guys next weekend i appreciate you guys watching do me a favor hit the like and the subscribe button man y'all be good and i'll see you in the next one the tests conducted in this video were performed outside the specified parameters of the amplifier's manufacturer. Attempting to use your amplifier in this manner may result in permanent damage or complete failure of the device. We strongly recommend adhering to the manufacturer's guidelines to ensure the longevity and proper functioning of your equipment. Viewer discretion is advised. In other words, don't be a dumbass. Okay. We're gonna start with a 0.8 test. The voltage meter, I did see the comments about turning the voltage down. You can't do that. Voltage only matters when the test is going. 10,645 watts at 0.8 dynamic run. Now we're gonna try a 0.7 run. So just a little more, we got 10,904 watts at 0 0.7. 0 0.5 test, 0.5 test. Oh, it went into protection. It went in protection. But that's all right. This amp isn't rated to do a 0.5 load. It did go into protection though. Let's see if we can get it to cycle on and off and come back out of protection. All right, let's cut it off. Cut it back on. All right, it did exactly what it should came back out of protection. Amplifiers go into protection like that when they think something's wrong. It's there to save you from something else happening. This is exactly what this one did because it's not supposed to be run at a half an ohm. It thinks something's wrong. Well, I went to turn this thing on and it sounds like shit. It sounds like something's wrong with it. So not really sure why or what could be wrong with it. I've never had it on. It's brand new. So I don't know if something happened to it in shipping or what. Unfortunately, I've had it for such a long time. I've just never used it, but you can hear it. Something in there, something ain't right. And we're gonna have to pull it back out and see if there's something got inside of it or if there's actually something wrong with it. I think something was inside of it because that sounds fine. I'm glad. I think something got inside of it. There's no telling what my kid done stuck inside that thing.
All right, we're back. My battery died, so just got to. There's someone here. It's Kings of Base. We've got both of these hooked up, wired to a half a ohm. So let's see what happens. I got this guy. Let's try it. turn it up any louder it's gonna knock stuff off of my liquid it did the speaker it's about to fall off i'm afraid my tv's gonna fall off the wall all right guys that was a low ohm test let me remind you this video is not sponsored by ds18 nor did they pay me the amp has to go back to them they just let me borrow it and they didn't have any influence on this video i don't get anything out of it i'm just doing it because i want to do it i like these amplifiers what do you think about the low ohm test? I think it did great. It did 0.8, it did 0.7. It let me run the subwoofers at 0.5. I don't know what else you could want. It didn't do the 0.5 on resistors, but you gotta remember, it was never supposed to do that. Leave some comments, let me know what you think. Hit the like and the subscribe button. We'll be back again next week where we'll be doing a different kind of amp. It won't be a DS18 amp, but after that, we'll be back with a four channel DS18 amp. They said they would send me a four channel. I'll see you next weekend.